Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Architect, and today we're going to be getting a few more things done. Alright, so let's get right on into this today. I need to go ahead and throw some stuff away. Um, we do have uh, these back up and running again. Um, I went ahead and got this guy out of here. I do believe we have some more crushed diamond. So we have eight diamond. That is pretty cool. Uh, we can throw that in there. I think I have a piece of charcoal somewhere. There it is. We'll cook. There we go. Um, that should cook all that, turn it into some diamond for us. Um, we do have a few other things in here as well. Just like to get those cleared out before we get started. Awesome. And uh, this guy's doing pretty good. Oh, we actually got another orchid from that as well. That's cool. I didn't know it did that. Okay. Eventually, I'll get this organized. I did make another room for us to expand into some new machines and stuff. Um, because it looks like we're going to be down here for a while. Um, yeah, this is pretty rough. There's quite a few monsters out. We're on day 19. All I really have is a sword, and I haven't really upgraded my armor quite yet. I'm still needing some leggings and stuff. Uh, but I do have some decent armor, I guess. And my sword is uh, only at level 2. If I take a look... Um, it's only at level 2. For some reason, I can't... Oh, I guess I need... Oh, it does have frost on it. I'd like to get ethereal on it. That'd be nice. Um, but yeah, we need to do a few quests. One being get dirt. Um, I think we need to get dirt, like, immediately. There's no reason for us not to have that quest completed already. Um, so we really need to go do that. And uh, that would involve doing some adventuring and uh, going out... But before we do that, we're going to need a few things on us. Um, one being a nice weapon, like the sword we have. Um, and then also, I think, uh, we have quite a bit of gold. I think just getting, getting some rocks um, that we can throw will be fine. Um, these are pretty neat because you can throw them just like that, like snowballs. Uh, but they do inflict quite a bit of damage um, and then we're also going to need another pick this pick is just not cutting it so um, and that's funny not cutting it uh, I guess we could do a diamond pick why not we have all this diamond I'm sure we're going to need diamond later um, but at the moment I need to use it for some other stuff. Okay, so we have sticks in here. Hopefully this crafting table does not break on us. Alright, so we got that. Can we make a diamond sword? Maybe that would be a good weapon for us. Um, we have a diamond great sword. What are these? The diamond sphere. The... Okay... That requires a lot of diamond. 14 attack damage. 10 attack damage. 4 attack damage. 5. That guy would be the best, um, in my opinion, to get. But, can we afford it? Um, this would be up to... Okay, it says when an offhand is empty, minus 20% percent attack speed minus 60 percent attack speed I think this sword might be the best one to go with at the moment uh, a regular great sword um, I think that's gonna do us some good um, and we have just enough diamond to do that so might as well awesome I think that's a lot better than our invar sword um, so we can probably throw that back in here and we have our our nice diamond greatsword. It has a pretty decent comeback. That's not too bad. Um, yeah, we don't have any other armor or anything like that. Um, so, I don't think 10. I don't think you can make armor out of 10. Actually, you can. But it doesn't look like it's any better than what we already have on. I think this is plus 1. This is actually plus 2. Oh, this is plus 1, yeah. It's not any better than, than that, so... Um, I guess going adventuring will be fine since it's daytime. Um, I need a shovel. I 
don't have a shovel, I don't think. I should have a shovel laying around somewhere. I know I have the crude spade. Um, there it is. That shovel should work for now. Alright, let's go up and do some exploring. Probably toss you out, don't need you. And we will throw some of this stuff over here. And we have our axe. And hammer. Ooh, we have a diamond. I guess we can throw that in their bag. Along with their sticks. Alright, so we are going to do some exploring. We already have... Oh, one hit? I will take the string, and I will take the torch. And is that dirt? Ooh, we got dirt. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do some exploring. The sword seems like it's going to do the trick. I would love to get... Ooh, he takes up quite a bit. Kill, actually. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to do some running. I did forget food. That might be an issue. I have no quick way of getting back home and getting food. Um, that's pot soil. I think that also lets us complete the achievement. I'm not for sure. I'm not too certain. Boy, that piranha, man, he's already after it. So we've been over here before. So he's, this guy's armored up. All right, nothing from him. All right, I don't want to cross the water. That is asking for trouble. So going in the water, avoiding the piranhas, is probably your best bet. Um, I think this stuff, though, counts towards our achievement. Let's take a look. Um, dirt. Horse dirt. Pot soil. Yeah, this will work. Ah, we get bugs from it. Look at all these bugs. That's some food. It's actually, um, let's see. I can kind of mine this out. Oh. There we go. And that's some regular dirt. Oh, you get special stuff for mining dirt. So some regular dirt is going to help us get a farm started. We're going to need a farm. I want to farm downstairs for sure. Um, unfortunately, my pick does not have that much durability, but at least I know where some dirt's at. That's awesome. So yeah, getting dirt. I didn't know there was any dirt. I thought all the dirt was, like, gone in the overworld, so... Wow, is it, is it sad to say that, that that grasshopper seriously scared me? Okay, yeah, that sandy dirt is not really doing it for us, so... Um, also would like to get a hoe. Um, I should have brought that out here because we need to get some worms. Um, we did get quite a bit of bugs and stuff. We can probably complete that. Awesome. And now we complete that. We got three worms and some bone mill now. And we have a, a new fry it um, thing to go after. So I think we can head home. Um, I don't think there's too many raiders out. Uh, probably before we head out. I could probably get the the nodes that I've seen over here. Unless I've already lost them. Knowing me, they're like right under my nose, and I'm already missing them. I think there was one right here. Yeah, one right here. This is going to call everybody towards me. Probably see some raiders really soon. Yeah. Not seen them yet, but They'll probably show up. Hopefully nothing falls in here. That'd be bad news bears right there. Yeah, this takes so long for these to come down. wonder what's down here. I think our base is like in an area like that, but there's a big pool of lava down there. Huge pool. 
So it's about to come down now. We have some piranha eyeball on us over there. All right, so we got a livestock remote. I'd like to see kind of what that does later on. Um, that'd be nice. All right, what do we got? Um, plaster, that's stuff we can eat. It is already getting dark. Let's throw stuff in here. We have no time to lose. Wow, let's go ahead and get all of this in here as we can. All right, time to head back as fast as we can. These are some big trees, by the way. It's a lot of wood. I love how our house is like falling apart now. It looks like we have some raiders on us. And they are fast at night. I hear them laughing. Yeah, the raiders are on their way. Ready to destroy me, that's for sure. Alright, I think I might challenge a few of them. I will take as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, it doesn't do that much, honestly. Ow. Ow. Okay, we gotta get out of here or we're gonna die. We are gonna die. Hopefully they don't follow me down. I am in some rough shape. They're probably gonna follow me down. Um, but I think we can fix that. It's no big deal. Uh, we should be able to take care of them once we're down here. Yeah, we gotta heal up first. Definitely have to heal up. Um, I can easily get more of these things, so I'm not too worried about those. Just worried about them guys coming down. Boy, they f they were all over me. It was rough. All right, what does this one give me? I guess it just it only heal or only extends your life past a certain point. Used. Okay, so we're about fully healed. Um, it was like glitching or something. I don't know. There we go. We're building up our redstone slowly but surely. Um, I need to get more storage for sure. Um, and we're going to have to build a farm downstairs now. Um, that we have all this stuff. We did get quite a bit, I guess, on our little, little journey. It seemed like night went by so fast. Um, I think we can eat plaster. As weird as that sounds. I think we can. I don't... Yeah, I think we can, um, but I don't want to save that. Something else. And we can put this on the chopping block. Uh, we should have more than just one. Right? I could have swore I got all of them. Maybe I didn't. Um, if I didn't, I guess that's my, my bad luck. But I should have grabbed them all. We did get the dirt though. Um, let's take a look at the next quest. That would be making vegetable oil. And I don't know if I have all the stuff to do that, to be honest. I think vegetable oil. Um, oil right here. So any seed will make vegetable oil. Okay, so we can do that. I'm sure we got some seeds laying around somewhere. Have to. Yeah, there's, there's seeds. So four seeds, get just vegetable oil. And that's 50%. We need two of four. Oh, did it give us... Okay, so we're going to need some more. Where else do we have seeds? Is this pulling seeds? It's pulling lily pads. I don't know if this gives us vegetable oil. 
Oh, that gives us reeds. I don't really know what that does. Um. Yeah, we might be kind of stuck in a rock, uh, in a hard place on that one. Um, let's see. What what all does it take? Melon seeds, potatoes, beetroots. What all did I grab? Uh, we don't have enough apples. We don't have enough pumpkin seeds. And it looks like that was all of the seeds that we had. Alright, so I guess it's time to make a farm. Um, a farm of some kind. So we're going to need to do that. Um, I figure... Um, we could do... It's, it'll only work in 3x3 three three areas, so... Um, I guess having two 3x3 three three areas will be just fine now that we have worms. Um, we can be able to farm this area. Which will work just fine for us. Alright, let's go ahead and place our lovely dirt down. Now that we have some, I'm so excited we got some dirt. Some regular, plain, vanilla dirt. So we don't have to worry about anything. And I should be able to come over here. Um, I was trying to expand this area and I could not go past here. Um, behind this wall is that ravine, and that ravine is in the way. Man, is it in the way, and so is this lava. Um, you can kind of see that ravine when I step down here. You can see the ravine. There's one over here, and there's also one right behind me. And there's this giant pool of lava that if I keep mining this way, we would end up in. So, yeah, that's uh, that's another pain. But, I digress. Alright, so we have this little area. Uh, we have our three worms. And I don't even think we have to till them. I think it'll do it on its own. Yeah, it'll till on its own and everything. So we don't have to pull a hoe out or nothing. And uh, I think I'll place my melon seeds. And I'm pretty sure I had at least one regular seed left. Right? Um, cocoa, yeah, I had regular seeds. Pumpkin seeds, I just need one of those for now. Actually, we do have potatoes. I do need to plant them before I get carried away. That got us that. Did that get us the, the whole thing? Yes. That's so weird. I guess uh, that counts as two. Um, I guess. Okay, so we will plant these. I guess I'll plant the, uh, the pumpkin over here. And we'll load ourselves with some potatoes. And I think I'm going to use my bone mill to kind of get us some more sweet seeds. And that's going to help us out. Especially with farm animals shortly. And with food in general. Okay, so we have those planted um, carrots. So we have some carrots and we have some corn. I think carrots are in here somewhere. Oh, we have some redstone right there. I really need to sort this out. I do. I am going to sort this out probably by next up episode. Um, it's going to be sorted out. Uh, we have some beetroot. That's going to get us some yellow dye or red dye. Sorry. Pretty sure that's what it does. You can get beetroot soup. Um, it makes bait, and it also makes red dye. How cool is that? Um, is there anything... Is, what makes yellow? Just wondering, because that's going to probably help us later on. What all can make yellow? So just these flowers? Um, what can be chopped down? Just, just, the, just those flowers, then. Hmm. Well, that's okay. Uh, at least we can get red dye. But, yeah, we'll, we'll plant some beetroot. Oh, that's just the beetroot itself. We actually need the uh, plant. Huh. 
All right. Oh, there's uh, there's some more airdrops. I better get those done. Um. Yeah, the, the more iron, the better. And I do believe that gets us four exactly every time, which is great. Alright, um... There is some more tiny coal. We can use to fill these guys up with. Because these need to be filled up, definitely. I can go ahead and fill those guys. There's our inventory a little bit. Um, what is this? Lime soda. I guess it's just regular soda. But we could use these in the culinary generator. That actually generates quite a bit. How much culinary generator? This culinary generator does not require too much to make and that does produce quite a bit of energy it looks like if you have a farm uh, it probably doesn't generate too much over time though uh, 30 sec 32 R a tick that's not that's not that bad to be honest these guys are f oh man it's gonna be so hard to keep up with this um, these guys are rocking I need to make some more of these. Um, the iron, all it does, it looks like it just uh, has the durability. I don't know if it increases the uh, the efficiency of it. Um, I guess we can go ahead and make, since we did complete that, we can make the fry it. it says bugs straight out of the ground aren't too tasty. Craft up a fryer and make them a bit crunchier. And this is cooking for blockheads. Um, a fryer. Hopefully it doesn't require much iron. Oh man. Uh, it, well, we can use tin. We well, have a bit of tin, so this ain't going to be that big of a deal. Um, I don't know what tin is used for, but we have a lot of it. Um, so tin around one of these guys. Nets us a fryer. And then we can just use the fryer. Doesn't really matter where we where we put this, I guess. Right there. Let's just say that's a great place. Um, I'm guessing vegetable oil is what it uses to cook with. And uh, we can use these guys. You know, let's cook all of our bugs. Where is our bugs? There we go. We got some ants. And it looks like you can kind of see them in there. Oh, it'd be much better if I had this place somewhere else. Like over here. Well, that's going to block it off. You know what? It would look so much better somewhere else. Uh, unfortunately, probably lost the oil, but right here. That looks fine. Um, we do have... Hmm. We do have some of this. What did that get us? Nothing? Really? Well, I guess we won't be getting that. I thought that, uh... Maybe we had extra stuff in here, but I guess we don't. There's pumpkin. We well, have some extra bone meal. Okay, I got us three. Wonder why that's changing all all the time. Well, so much for showing you what cook bugs look like, but I think we can get the cooking for blockheads book pretty easy. It is the green one, so you just smelt a regular book and you get cooking for blockheads. Okay. Um, getting a book. So we're gonna need... Oh, I'm pretty sure it's right here. Some sugar cane and a piece of leather. 
I'm pretty sure we have some leather in here somewhere. There we are. All right, four pieces of paper and some leather. Or three pieces of paper and leather. Gets us a book. And we just need to cook a book. And that'll complete that one for us and we'll get stuffed eggplant. Sounds really good. Oh, we get four more vegetable oil. Oh, sweet. So we can cook up our stuff. And we have five grasshopper now. Ooh, fried ant. Look at that saturation. Maximum. Alright, we got that one. There's a few other. We probably need to make some of these walls and stuff like that. Um, Alright, so this does look like it lasts a little while. I love how it's got a little bug up there. Yeah, this will be a good source of food. Unfortunately, you have to find some dirt to get up. But yeah, love that animation. That's pretty cool looking. I have to admit, that is pretty cool. I will nab that. All right. Um, so is there anything else we can advance in our... Well, this is going to, of course, get us something. More diamond nuggets. Um, but is there in the infrastructure? What we were going for is some steel. Um, and we need some obsidian. I guess we could work on some of that stuff. I do need some more iron, and I was working on getting some iron. And I'm also in the middle of all this as well. There's just so much I'm trying to do all at once. Bringing up some inventory space, that is for sure. Alright, we'll get some stuff cleared out. Make sure our bug supply is staying full. Alright, I think that's it for bugs. I'm probably missing them. Usually you miss some, miss some stuff while you're recording, but yeah. All right, so that's going to be eight iron or eight steel, which got us the achievement for the steel right here. We needed eight manually detect. So we're going to get eight more and we're going to heavy machine casings. And I want the bottles of enchanting. All right, so we can make shotguns. We need these right here. We need a metal press. So as you've noticed, metal plates are needed for many important recipes. First thing you need, or the, face, the first thing you'll need is a plate mold for the metal press multi-block structure. All right, so we're gonna need a plate press to begin with, but the thing is this requires power and we need to get into some power. So a furnace generator would be something that we had really need to get into. Um, and if we look at furnace generator, The regular furnace generator uses um, five iron there, nine iron in total. So we'll need nine iron to get us one of these guys. Um, and currently I don't really know what else I have to get some iron with. I mean, maybe we have enough now? We have nine iron now, so we can make the furnace. Maybe, does it give us iron when we make the furnace? No, it gives us coal. Okay, so we do need to make that though. So I think that's gonna be in our best interest. So we need a chest. And we need um, some redstone. I think that's it, and a furnace. So we're gonna need some cobblestone. There we go. Okay, and let's craft away. Hopefully our crafting table doesn't break on us. I hate the sound. It scares me every time. So we got four of those. That's going to help us out later on. So we got our furnace. So we can complete that. Um, what did that extend to? Cactus rocks. We have not found any cactus. We're gonna. I'm going to really have to search for some cactus. Um, defend your ramp. This is disposable item turret. 
and turret base tier one. I'm not too concerned about turrets yet, so we'll probably leave that one till later. But we do need some metal. Looks like these are actually causing a bit of lag flashing or something like that. Yeah, we're gonna need a metal press because I think this guy requires a metal press. Oops. Let's go ahead and get our... Get more of a redstone. Um, we got one heavy engineer's block. I thought we were getting two from this. Oh, I guess we are just getting one. And I'm sure that one is just to um, make the press. I think because the these right here require plates. Oh no, they require steel. All right, so we're gonna need our engineer's manual. And we're gonna need to look into the multi-block construction. Multi-block constructions. Okay, is it, where's it at? Um, tools and simple machines. Heavy machinery, okay. So metal press, this is what we're gonna need to make. Whoa, that is going really fast. All right, I don't know what these are exactly. So this is all stuff that we're gonna have to worry about making. Um, so we'll just we'll just look that up. It looks like a piston as well. Yeah, immersive engineering. So we're gonna need some scaffolding, which uses a steel rod. which comes from this. Okay, so, and that requires steel all to make six scaffolding. Okay, and we're also going to need conveyor belts. So that's requires some iron, which we don't currently have. That gives us eight. Um, what else was in, the, in that book? Okay, so that step, a piston, and that. Okay. Um, so a piston is okay, that's not a big deal. Um, what is that redstone looking block that I'm seeing? Uh, you know, I've never used this mod. It's this right here, the redstone engineering block. So it requires some more iron, some more copper. Okay, so Man, we are just struggling with iron, to basically. Um, it's still nighttime. I, I guess I'm going to have to do some more runs. Um, I'm going to have to definitely get some more stuff in between episodes. So what I'll probably do is do some more adventuring, try and get some more iron, um, try and find some stuff, and I will we'll probably make this, uh, make this press in the next episode, as we are out of time. So... If you guys enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to click that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.